So, like I said, you've got to OU that first year. I mean, you start breaking records pretty much from, from game one, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so that's the, that's the game I mentioned. You know, I, I redshirted my, from my rookie year, my rookie year. My freshman year, I redshirted. Um, I was on scout team all year. You know, I was on scout team quarterback sometimes. Obviously, I was at the receiver position. Um, I, I learned a lot about the game. You know, I needed to get stronger. I needed to get smarter. I learned about coverages. Um, I was running different route trees because I was on scout team versus our starting ones. And so that gave me the confidence. When I'm making plays as a freshman against seniors on the defensive side of the ball every day in practice, I remember there's many times Coach B would come over and be like, right, make sure you run what's on the car. Because I don't know if you know, but if you're on the scout team, they don't just say a play. You're, you're literally looking at a piece of paper. And it'll say, run a, a five-yard slant, right? And I'm like, you have your guy set up for me to lose, so I'm going to run a three-yard slant. And so he got on to me multiple times, right? Make sure you run it this way. I wasn't that person. I'm going to go make plays. I don't care if I'm scout team or not. But, yeah, I know my skills. My first year, um, my first game, my freshman year for Cincinnati, um, I got off – really quick and it's crazy looking back on it now um, the first play I was in I catch a ball I run about 40 yards the second play I was across the, uh, the other side of the field I catch a corner route um, so touchdown so catch touchdown the first two plays and my confidence was uh, I'm here I can do this yeah you already got a chip on your shoulder and you didn't you know you didn't really need an extra confidence boost and now you're not after that I get in and, it, and they call the plays for me and I was like all right and so then I went to Washington the next game I remember Catching a slant route, went about 70 yards. I'm entourage with my guys down there blocking. I scored another touchdown in the game. And I was like, I'm a freshman, I'm a freshman, freshman, I'm doing this. So then obviously I just built that confidence over time. And, you know, I ended up as one of the greatest ever. Well, and you also had great quarterbacks, right? You can't beat that. Not just quarterbacks. You know, Sam Bradford, my first year, Matthew Jones. Um, like you had offensive linemen, great offensive linemen, guys that are still in the league, tight ends. We had um, – Jeez, you can go across the board. We got receivers. I mean, we had the whole shebang. Obviously, great play callers as well. Uh, had to had to, had to, we had to have a good defense to get the guys off the field, so our guys can even continue to rack up stats, which we did. Uh, so it was a, it was a team effort. Man. Yeah. What What was the biggest, I guess, thing? Biggest change, uh, you know, from from high school to to college ball? Uh, it was just just putting on muscle. That's the biggest thing. You know, guys turn into men at, I don't know, call it 18. You're playing against 21-year-olds. Um, you get out there, and it's just getting in the weight room, understanding what it looks like to hustle, what it looks like to work hard, which I did that in high school. But you're not only competing against guys in the state. You're competing against a guy that's trying to get a job. Now. You know, you're not just getting a job in college. you got guys trying to get to the league. So it was just the mental switch where it's like, okay, these guys are really competing. There's no taking plays off. My coaches' jobs are on the line, so they expect us to produce. And so it was like, okay, then we've got to do our job. And I never wanted to be the guy where a coach believed in me and I happened to mess up. I didn't want to get put on the bench. I didn't want to get the coach fired. So you just got a different perspective. Yeah. Was it pretty soon, like as soon as you get to, you know, you're at OU and you've got all these facilities around you and that mentality kicks in real quick, is it automatically I've got four years to prepare for the NFL? No, uh, you know, obviously everyone talks about making it to the NFL. I probably said that many times as I was a young kid, but it, was, it wasn't really a, a thing until I knew that the, the scouts were watching film. Okay. So my junior year, it's like, okay, hey, you're, you're eligible. Mm. This is when it's real. So, you know, before I was playing my role, I was a young guy with guys starting over me and whatnot making plays. So I was like, oh, I just play my role, get better. My junior year, it got real. Um, I had a heck of a year, to be honest, that time. Yeah. Um, or that year, yeah, but um, yeah, it wasn't too much of a year where I really thought about you know the NFL. This could be a this could truly be a thing, and it's going to be a thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So great time at OU. You know, you set records. Um, you know, you go, you have a great junior year, and then decide not to go to the draft. Which um, recently watched uh, a great video on YouTube that that a recap of you know that was just done about you in May. Um, which explained the whole reason why you didn't go, which was yeah. awesome. uh, basically because you were in the second round and there was the, the draft class that year was insane. For uh, sure. And it was a lockout year too. So there was a lot that went into that for sure. Which I'm sure you get that question quite a lot, right? You know what? I don't get that. Why didn't you go? Really? I, I don't ever get that. So I, not that I was surprised that he asked that question or, or just talk about it, but it is something to be talked about. And it's something that I think about often yeah. What if I would have and never got hurt? You just never know. But at, yeah. at the end of the day, I, I did what I set out to do. 
Um, I played the best I could. I got drafted, uh, which was a blessing. And I still went second round even with an ACL. So I feel like that was the best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you decide obviously not to go junior year. You go, you know, you play your senior year and you play eight or so games. You get injured. Yeah. ACL. And then, like I said, but still get drafted to the Lions, yeah. which you had a couple of teammates got, got drafted that year to the Lions, right? Yeah, it was um, Ronnell Lewis from fourth round, I believe. We had um, Travis Lewis, linebacker went, and then Sam Proctor, safety, went on draft. So it was four of us, man. It was awesome. Um, I had fun times in the locker room to see my sooner boys and then 